Hi, I'm here with Bee Watson from Bumble and Bumble, and she's going to show us how to create the hair from the Burberry Autumn Winter 12 show. So we're going to start first of all with some prep. This is the Bumble and Bumble Priming Spray. What it's going to do is going to prepare your hair for the texture. So let's get the next product, yep. and that's going to be some thickening hairspray. I want you to do exactly the same thing. This time, I want you just to use your finger to take sections, and then start by applying some of the spray, but on the underneath first. We're looking at covering the hair just through the mid lengths and ends, and the reason is, is that's where we want to have the texture. The next step, we're going to use a diffuser on the hair dryer with the hottest heat and the slowest speed. That's always really important. You want to add heat to the hair, but you don't want to blast the hair so you lose the texture. Okay. We're actually going to put your hair inside the barrel of the diffuser, then I'm going to switch the diffuser and the heat on. So how long do I hold the hair like this for? Each section around your head for about 30 seconds. The diffusers help to work with the product to reactivate some of the curl. So what we need to do now before we move on to the next stage is make sure that we have your parting in the centre. One of the ways that we make sure that the parting is dead centre is by using the bridge of your nose as a guide and also the top vertebrae. And we make sure that they're aligned. That's looking really good. That's nice and central. So I just want you to use a soft brush and just to brush that through for me. This will help to break up the product but it will also help make sure that we keep the movement in the hair because we don't want that wave to drop. Good. And the next stage that we're going to do is the tonging. I'm going to ask you just to pick up random sections. Always keep the barrel of the tong pointing down and just wrap the hair loosely around the barrel of the tong once and count to about 15. As it cools, just hold the hair in place and as the cold air hits it, it will just soften the curl. So you've created a really lovely movement with the tong, but for this particular look, it's still a little bit of a strong movement. So this is some styling balm. You only need to use a small pea-sized amount. This is gonna add softness and movement to the curl, but it's also gonna add a little bit of a sheen. Once you've rubbed that in your hands, I then want you to come through the underneath and just literally paint the product through this way with your okay. fingertips. You'll also notice that with the movement, we've not done much tonging through the back area. The reason for that is, is that we want it to look really, really natural. The last product that we're going to actually apply is Brilliantine. And Brilliantine is going to add some separation to the hair and it's just going to finish it. I'm going to get you to put this all the way through, just okay. missing out your root area. Just by adding these products, it just gives it much more of a relaxed feeling. And it's added this really great kind of matte definition and finish to the hair. Good job. Really good job. Thank you. I love it. Really easy and really quick as well to do.